You mentioned something that's um, meant a lot to me, and a community you're involved with has reshaped this for me over the last decade, what this means. And it's, in fact, it's become something, I, a drum I beat all the time. It's the idea of you cannot do life without other people, oh, period, yeah. right? And I'm thinking of the 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 women who call the show who have had miscarriage number three, and mm. if they get one more text message from their friends about the upcoming baby shower, right? Or if they yeah. see one more woman walk through the grocery store with this new baby, how do you have community and not hold on to that? Man, you've got something I don't have because it feels very similar to the the art the artist world. You've got buddies now who have their own names, have their own labels, and they're heading out on tour. And you're just got your fingers crossed. I'm going to get that call, mm-hmm. and then some other guitarist gets that call. Yeah, yeah. How do you how do you retain community? How do you retain love with these folks and not let that demon of jealousy take your soul from you? Oh. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> uh, how did I you, think you just I, described my 20s and 30s in that question. <laughs> or, or I've always just wondered from afar, there's just a bunch of guys in a bunch of different bands. And I know if I'm sold a million records band X, if I invite you guys out with us, I'm going to change your family's financial position. Yeah. But I'm going to take them. I'd have a hard time not being like, dude. Yeah. What about this guy? You know what I mean? But that's, I mean, that's the, that has, that's every industry. That's every, it is, that's it is. every it's job every that you family, do. every family, it's every situation. Why do you have a husband that didn't cheat on you? Yeah. Why do you have a kid that didn't get leukemia? I mean, that's a question we ask all the time. It feels particularly acute in your world as a, as almost a daily occurrence. How do yeah. you have community with folks that you're also kind of like, man, I'm one of that. Yeah. Oh, dude. I mean, that, I, you know, I mean. I have a, a a couple mutual friends of, of ours who yeah. have become like I've watched I've watched uh, a few friends become legends. Right. You know, like oh, we were friends, and now people don't talk about you the way they used to. They talk about you the way they talk about Paul McCartney. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like, and I have followed you in the bathroom. Yeah. And we're the same. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I know exactly what you're capable of. Right. <laughs> you know, what? I've heard you when you're pissed off, and you know what I mean. And like, yeah. I know you, but the yeah. whole world has said. We choose you, right? Yeah. And there it goes. I mean, I think I lost a I lost a number of years to bitterness mm. over that. Uh, and when I say lost, I mean I lost out of I lost out on the relationships I could have had with people because I was so it was so hard for me to handle. Um, I'm really going for it here, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is there a couch I can lay yeah. on? <laughs> yeah. um, but it's but it's true, you know. I think it's it's so easy to say, you know, I can't even talk to that person. Because it's just too hard for me. Because mm. I want to be, I think I deserve it or they don't deserve it or whatever or it is. Or it's not fair. It's not fair. Yeah. I work so hard, you know, especially in America. I think we have this view that if we work so hard, we can, we, if we, we dream get it, it, we can achieve it. We get it. You know, go get your dreams, kids. And it's like, ah, that actually the math doesn't work <laughs> out. There's only so many, right? right? Yeah. Oh, there can only be so many astronauts and presidents. Yeah. And that's hard. Mm-hmm. But at some point, you either, again, choose bitterness or gratitude. Am I thankful that I get to do what I do? Mm-hmm. Or am I angry that I didn't get to do what they did? Dude. Because I got to do something that's wonderful. Yeah. And I will never appreciate the wonderful thing that I did get to do, you know, because I'm if I'm so focused on what they got instead of me. Mm-hmm. And... Um, it, 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 is, that a, is that a discipline you practice? It's absolutely a discipline. It is mm-hmm. a choice. It is a wake up... Put your feet on the ground and decide to be grateful. Mm. Every, every, see, it's almost yeah. like I'm going to run every day so that the day shows up and I've got to sprint. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Right? Yeah. And it's, it gets easier. Yeah. Cause get, guess what? It's, it's a joyful way to live. Right. It's, it's actually really fun to enjoy the things you get to do. Huh. And it's fun to celebrate your friends when they, when Wonderful things happen to them. That has become probably the most mind-blowing thing of the last two or three years for me is how problem-centric, how, hey, how are you, man? I mean, I'm fine. It's COVID, right? It's this and it's whatever. (laughs) And that's just how we greet one another. It's hot. It's so cold. Yeah. We don't greet each other with, dude, things are actually pretty good right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? We don't have an ethos for that. And this idea of being able to celebrate your friends that has become the way I know that I'm in true community with somebody mm. when I'm having a rough day and they tell me something great and it, I, it's exciting yeah. to hear it. 
and vice versa, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful though, isn't it? But it is. I struggle with understanding beyond time and weird, like we experienced some stuff together. We were on a bus for six months ago. I struggle with articulating how to cultivate that in just the average run of the day world other than sitting down in the gratitude journal and making it a daily discipline practice. I mean, that's definitely, you know, scripture, prayer. I mean, I don't know if this is, can we talk about that yeah, stuff yeah, on this yeah, podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about anything you want to, yeah. Um, but that's how you, I mean, that's where it is, yeah. right? That's, it's, that's where you find that. That's where you find peace that passes understanding. Uh, and that's what you're really talking about is, is peace instead of anger and jealousy. Yeah. And when you can operate out of peace and joy, dude, you can do anything. Yeah. Then you can really do what you, you know, you, you can achieve your dreams because the thing that you dream is loving and serving other people. Hmm. And when you're loving and serving other people, have you found, <laughs> I mean, it feels like the more you are focused on other folks, the more stuff I don't want to sound all Jabezy, but the more stuff comes at you. You know what I mean? <laughs> it is you not Jabezy. You, yeah. you don't do it for an R the ROI of it. You do it because yeah. you just hold life a lot lighter. But the truth is, if you're the person, I, I literally, I just had coffee with a like a young singer songwriter like two hours ago before I was here, uh, who's got maybe some more resources than some others, mm -hmm. and is like, ah, I just it's not happening for me. You know, I'm just, and I'm working all day in my house, just working on this stuff. It's not happening. I was like. I think you need to invite other people over and, and, and who can you serve? Make a list of people that you can serve with your resources and your time. If you've got this, you know, and the truth is, is like, you're going to work on their stuff. You're yeah. going to get better. They're going to get opportunities. They're going to call you to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. That you serving your community is actually going to be the best thing you can do for your career. Right. But, but if you, but it's not to do it for your career. It's right. to do it because it's the right thing to it's do. It's the right thing to do, right? 